What I think is exciting about what's happening in blended learning, what we've seen in classrooms, we're being used in 30,000 classrooms, is it's fundamentally altering how we think about the learning. The technology, somewhat ironically, is making the classroom more human, and it's making the, it's allowing the teacher to express more creativity, form deeper bonds with their students, and, and frankly, move up the value chain. And the most important thing that we can do is customize and individualize it for the student, and that's what we're seeking. So we're looking at things like computer adaptive testing. We want all teachers to have access to the data that drives their instruction. When the students do go online, the programs that we have chosen for our students are using adaptive technology. What that means is that if the students are uh, zooming ahead, it'll zoom ahead with them and we'll continue to pace them forward so they're not getting bored with the material. Students learn at their own pace. We have kids in sixth grade working on an eighth grade level and kids in sixth grade working on a fourth grade level. What matters isn't what grade level they're in, what matters is where they are and what they can learn next and how we can accelerate their learning regardless of what level they may be at. So I think the promise of digital learning is to give all students an opportunity to be able to learn on an individualized basis and learn at their own pace and to take more control over their own academic futures. Yeah, every family ought to have access to great teachers and high quality uh, courses and online learning through charter schools uh, and, and good high quality virtual schooling programs at the state level allow for families and their, and their children to access the content. It basically makes learning uh, a 24-7 full-time opportunity, I think, for children in places where they have one-to-one -one laptop or um, you know, iPad, iPad or some other type of tablet technology. Uh, kids can, can basically have those at any time. The applications that allow kids to learn are out there and they're proliferate. I mean, they're, they're all over the place. So I do think they're, they're great opportunities to just expand the learning time for kids. It's a bit different knowing that I can interact with my teachers at night, especially if I know that I need the help. It's not like I have to stay after school for a million hours. I can go to class and I can get a couple hours off and then I know that we're gonna have a class chat later on and if we need any help, the people we don't have to get on, but if you know that you need the help, it's there for you. Before online sharing of resources around formative assessment, um, you know, teachers were recreating the wheel. They can see each other's work and be able to download and modify that in an open educational resource environment. One of the exciting things about blended learning and online learning uh, is the amount of data that you start to get from students literally we start to capture every single keystroke that a student has in their learning progression, from actual answers on questions and essays and so forth, but also tracking where their eyes, where the mouse and so forth is going, to start to understand what works best for whom and to be able to improve uh, our instruction and better target it to each learner in ways that we just couldn't imagine. Other celebrations that we've had are just basically seeing teachers more innovative and more collaborative with each other, as well as enhancing the student and teacher relationship. Um, many people have that misconception that laptops will take away from our relationships within a school building, but it's actually enhanced our relationships because you're now teaching and connected 24-7, and kids want that and they desire that, to have that connection with their teachers and with each other. These 10 benefits are only the start of unlocking the promise of digital learning. This will transform the education system and bring about a truly student-centered learning experience. To learn more, visit digitallearningnow.com.